Hello, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be doing a video on the Polish MC1. This mask is a Cold War gas mask. I got mine really cheap, $22. This mask is a copy of the Czech CM3 gas mask. So, that's why it might look like one, if you know what it looks like. Um, it has a six-point head harness on it. These were usually in a grey or olive colour like this. It's got a 40 millimeter intake there. That grate, that little metal grate, if you can see in there. Yeah, when you speak, that kind of vibrates. And, like... It makes your voice more noticeable. And I'm pretty sure they were size 1 to 4. I got a 1. You can see that very well. Um, so that means it's the smallest size. Um, got a, a TISO tube system in it, like the GP5. Don't use, and also don't use these because in airsoft because they're glass, because that's glass. Now, I don't have anything else that's MC1 related, because when I got it, it was only the mask. I keep it in a GP5 satchel, because they were, they were $5 each. Now, this, I'm not too sure what these markings are on it. Looks like one says eight, one says ninety five, eighty one, and three, and possibly some dots. If I was to guess, this was probably nineteen eighty one. This is not the most comfortable rubber. Pretty hard. Also, mine has wonky lenses. Sorry if you can hear that fly. I tried to kill it earlier. There are some blue stamps on the inside of the mask. Don't know how well we're going to be able to see them. You see there's some stamps in there. I don't know what they mean. Now I'm going to put it on. Remember it's a size 1 so it's not going to be the most comfortable thing. So this is the MC1. If you can hear it, it's reverberating my voice. Rubber is very, it's not the most comfortable rubber. And on here, I'm pretty sure, because you, like I showed you, it's wonky. So, one of the Tissot tube systems here does, it's like, because it's wonky, it's bent inward. So, this Tissot tube won't work as well. It's not a great mask. Certainly better than the PBS. Now, this was a civilian gas mask. It was going to be used by the military, from what I could see, but that didn't happen. Yeah, they came in gr olive or grey. I got the olive one. Because the grey was sold out and I think the olive looks better. Straps are okay. Wouldn't say they're the best. They're certainly not they're cheap, you can tell by that. I'm gonna take it off. So that's the MC1. Very cool mask. Used in the Cold War, very good collector's piece. Really, pretty, really cheap on eBay. On on the Australian side, they're a bit overpriced. Got this for twenty two dollars, I think, maybe twenty four. Pretty cool collector's piece. Not the most comfortable gas mask, but I mean, cheap. They they work. I think, I'm pretty sure they'll work. I do, I possibly might be getting a NATO filter so I can test these. 
don't know how well the thread will be because it's a ghost and I'm pretty sure NATO has, well, NATO thread. So, there's that. Polish CM3 copy. Pretty cool. I'll show you the inside. Can you see that very well? That's the inside of the mask. Pretty straightforward. So, I'll put it back in its satchel. So, like I said, I keep it. I keep it in a GP5 satchel because it, they were really cheap, and I got two of them. Yeah, I might be doing a PDF video next week. So keep an eye. No, actually, I might be doing. I might not be doing a video next week. Because I think I might be able, I might be getting a, what is it, like a PDF-2? So, I'm going to do a video on both of those. But if my, M, if my uh, PMG and, or MUA and all that come in the mail, I'll do a video on that instead. So, GP5 special, wrong way. That's the GP5 satchel. So, that was the MC1. Bye.